this past paper questions from the Advanced Higher 2014 written 12A part 1. Now the question here asks us to calculate the percentage by mass of silver in the coin. So we have a coin uh, which has been dissolved in nitric acid and the resulting solution was diluted with deionized water to 1000 centimetres cubed in a standard flask. 0.2 moles of hydrochloric acid was added and 100 centimetres cubed of this solution until the precipitation of silver 1 chloride was complete. So the question wants us to work out how much of the silver we have and we have to use the precipitate which was silver 1 chloride which I've written the formula for here. When we've got the formula we can always work out the GFM and the GFM of silver 1 chloride is 143.4. Now what we can see is that after the filtration the precipitate was washed, dried and found to have a mass. So because we've now got a mass and we've got a GFM we can calculate the number of moles. So number of moles is equal to mass divided by GFM. The mass we were given in the question was 0 0.620 and we divide that by the GFM of 143.4. So when I put that in the calculator, 0 0.620 divided by 143.4 and that gives me, <coughs> sorry, 4.3235 times 10 to the minus 3. Now I have got uh, one of my silver chloride produced. How many silvers are found in silver chloride? We have one, so it's a one to one ratio. So I'm wanting to scale that. So I put my 4.3235 times 10 to the minus three, dot, 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 dot. I'm just going to copy into the calculator and I would cross multiply that. So when I times that by one, answer divided by one, the same number of moles should come out so I've got 4.3235 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 3. So you never take anything out of your calculator. I don't want to work out the number of moles. I'm wanting to work out the mass. So what we can see here um, is that it's saying that that number of moles, that 4.3235 times 10 to the minus 3, was found in 100 centimetres cubed. However... That there is not for all of the silver. Um, remember, we've still got some in our flask, so we need to scale for the whole standard flask, which is a thousand centimetres cubed. So what I need to do is I need to cross multiply that. So I want to times that by 1000 and answer divided by 100 to scale. So the actual number of moles, the total number of moles in total that I have is 0 0.043235 dot 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 dot. So that's the actual number of moles that we have when we scale for all of the silver which had been found in the coin, which can be found in the standard flask. We then want to work out mass. So mass is equal to N times GFM. I carry through that number of moles to here and I times it through by the GFM of the silver, which is 107.9. So I keep that in my calculator times by 107.9. And that will give me a final mass as 4.6651324.97. I just like to write out all the numbers, but I do keep it in my calculator. We then want to work out the percentage by mass. So percentage is equal to mass over sample. And we times it by 100 to put it into our uh, percentage. The mass we carry through, so I keep that number in my calculator, over the sample size. And what we can see there is that the sample size in the text that's at the beginning was 10.04 grams. And we times that by 100. So divide by 10.04 equals times by 100. And that will give me a percentage of 46.465. If I wanted to round that, that will give me 46 point four seven percent part b to the question is very similar except that they give us copper and they give us a new precipitate and the formula for that precipitate so what we have here is um the question wants us to calculate the percentage by mass of copper in the coin so we have to look at our precipitate. We've got a GFM and we've been given a mass, so we can calculate number of moles. Number of moles is equal to M divided by GFM. 
The mass of the precipitate when we're reading numbers backwards was 0 0.320. Divide that by 121.6. And when I put that into the calculator, 0 0.320 divided by 121.6. That gives me the total number of moles is 2.6315 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 3. Remember, always keeping it into my calculator. I've got one from the balanced equation of that formula and I'm wanting to look at the iron of the copper that's found in there. There's only one copper found in the precipitate, so a one-to-one -one ratio. So I would need to do my cross multiplication, 2.63 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 3 and cross multiply to make sure I'm scaling it. So we times by 1, answer divided by 1. It should still come out as the same number. So I'm going to put that over here as 2.631 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 3. Now remember that number of moles was found in a 100 centimetres cubed sample. We need to scale for that standard flask, okay? That's the tricky part and that's the part that people forget. So to do that, we're going to cross multiply. So I need to times that by 1000, answer divided by 100. And that would then give me the actual total number of moles of copper as 0 0.0263 dot 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 again keeping that in my calculator we're wanting to work out mass so mass is equal to number of moles times gfm that number of moles i can carry through and i want to times that by the gfm of copper so using your data booklet you can see that the gfm of copper just wanting to double check it is 63.5 so if i times that by 63.5 that will give me the actual mass is 1.671 dot, 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 dot. Again, keeping it into my calculator. We want to do the percentage mass. So percentage is equal to mass over sample times by 100. We carry through that mass of 1.671 dot, 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 everything in the calculator. The sample size is the same as previously because it's all from the original coin, which was 10.04 times by 100 to put it into a percentage. So if I divide that by 10.04 equals times by 100, that would give me 16.64%.